Welcome, Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you an exclusive reading for the month of September 2020. Please keep in mind time is fluid, so whenever you're actually viewing this, it may represent a past, present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, your energy at the top and theirs at the bottom, but it is general, so it can be flipped or reversed. We have deception here, so they could be being deceived in a situation, or you may feel that they're deceiving you very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. They could be keeping some kind of secret from someone, or this could be a secret relationship for some of you. All right, clear messages and guidance, please, Spirit. What is the energy here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? in love and in life what needs to come through in this reading i'm going to go over a couple of specific questions what i want to find out is how this person thinks of you what do they feel about you what are their intentions with you what actions may they take in the next couple of months we're going to pull advice messages for those of you who are currently in communication as well as advice messages for those of you who happen to be in separation from your love interest okay we have the tower that is scorpio energy we have the two of cups we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So somebody here could be juggling or feeling very unbalanced about something. King of Cups, it could be done with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Ace of Swords, the Six of Rods, and the Lovers, Gemini energy. Under the deck here, we have Temperance, that Sagittarian energy. This is about waiting for something. It's like you feel like you put the work into this situation. Things are going to pay out long term. Um... You could be feeling a little bit confused, though. Something about this person's energy. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more mentally attractive. So some of you, if you were currently in another situation, okay, it could be that you weren't valued or appreciated there. There could be a divorce involved on your side or theirs. It's about putting yourself first. You know, you deserve better. You might also see this person going through a divorce or leaving a situation behind. It doesn't always mean that. I mean, it could be something kind of unexpected kind of happening. It could be like a loss, um, family member, loss of job, big move, some kind of big dramatic change happening in the environment in your situation or theirs. Why is a tower here? It could be separation for some of you as well. Somebody could be trying to apologize about this. Page of Cups. Why is Page of Cups here? Try to keep the peace maybe because of children being involved. Libra energy. Like I say, it could be, I feel like a strong like legal situation. Like there's separation between partners, okay? It's like you could have been married to this person. They could be married, okay? Gemini energy here, strong. Uh, Libra Aquarius as well. There's a separation between somebody who may have been together. There's a lover come between a situation. Could be so, someone consulting a lawyer. Trying to, there's kids involved, someone's feeling emotional about this huge dramatic change, but somebody's standing up for themselves here, loving themselves first, putting themselves first. All right, we have the Two of Cups here. This could have been a secret relationship, okay? That's water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Two of Cups is about friendship. It's about deep emotional connection, soulmate energy. There's also, but there's an element of like secretive energy here with this. Why is Two of Cups here, please, Spirit? Clarify that Two of Cups for me, please. Flipping in, flipping back out is usually my signal that somebody's very confused about something. Uh, four of Wands with the Eight of Wands and the Hanged Man. So Pisces energy here, okay? This is some kind of connection, some kind of friendship that was secret or private, possibly in the past. Two of Cups with the Four of Wands here. This could be a Twin Flame connection for some of you, okay? There is soulmate energy here. There's some kind of movement. Somebody here could be moving from a higher level okay, towards a Pisces, okay? Or somebody who feels stagnant or stuck in a situation, trying to communicate, reach out to this person. They could be doing this to you, okay? They feel a very deep soul connection here. This is about movement. This is a very flirtatious kind of energy. Especially with that Eight of Wands and that Two of Cups, it's very flirtatious. It's really um, exciting energy. It's like new, it's movement. It's moving, it's like you have to, the communication moves fast, but the physical steps move slow. Queen of Pentacles, that is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So you could be in a higher level of commitment or someone else could. 
Uh, this also talks about financial ties to a situation because the Queen of Pentacles is not somebody who's in and out. She's somebody who's very consistent and very stable. She's someone who builds a foundation. So you could be, you know, wives, mothers, husbands, fathers, gender irrelevant, Queen of Swords, that is Gemini Libra Aquarius again. Somebody could have been staying in a situation because it was the more logical thing to do. Maybe they grew up with this person, okay, or they had kids with this person. It's like some kind of like childhood sweetheart kind of thing. Maybe at one point this was a beautiful connection, but it's unbalanced and it had to end. It, it feels like somebody held out of something for sentimental attachment. Two of Pentacles here. It's about making a decision here, juggling a situation. A new opportunity could be someone younger or kids involved. That could be part of the issue. It's a burden because money, okay? Someone feels stuck and they feel overwhelmed because there's financial ties in a situation. There could be kids involved. Uh, they're on the fence about what to do or how to do it. They want to work in a new direction, but they don't know what the necessary steps should be. Well, let me go ahead and clarify love yourself first. I'm feeling led to do that as well. Yeah, a decision to end, Scorpio energy, a decision to end something for love, for love. Taurus, Libra energy, Aries energy here, okay? This is about somebody to try to take a risk and a new opportunity. Someone here could, I don't want to say this, this is for some of you, not for all of you, okay? This is a general reading, but somebody here could end up pregnant. And that could be a part of what pushes this new beginning forward. Okay, this is about a connection, this is growth, this is a new beginning, this is creation, Strong Major Arcana. Let's make a decision to end something. Loving yourself first, standing your ground, saying, I don't want this anymore. I'm moving in a new direction. This might be that push that somebody needs to move them forward. But pregnancy, for those of you who are not in childbearing ages or, you know, having families right now, um, pregnancies are symbolic of beginnings, new creation, okay? Something new, a new relationship, protecting something. Now, in their energy, we have deception. So it says someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So this person could have, like, pushed you away. Uh, could have ghosted you or something like that. Ace of Cups, but they still love you. They're, they're lying about how they feel. They could have told, some of them, they may have told you, you know, I'm not in love with you. I don't want you. That's a lie. Some of them could be pretend to be in love with a karmic partner because it's the easy thing to do because there's kids involved, okay? Why is Deception here for the Spirit? Why is Ace of Cups? Quite a few cards, but let's take them. Um... Someone doesn't want to lose money. They're trying to heal a situation. They're feeling very confused about something. They have some kind of sentimental attachment to somebody. They've been trying to rebuild this relationship, but it's a lie. They're lying to themselves. They're not happy here. They have love for you. They want to be with you. They need to move, you know, relocate, come towards you. They're in denial. They may have lied to you, pushed you away, went cold on you, ghosted you. King of Cups, that is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is a man who's in love or woman, okay? Uh, Virgo, Gemini energy here. Something's ended. They're feeling emotional. If you guys are in separation, they feel very emotional about lying to you, telling you they didn't love you, pushing you away, ghosting you. For those of you who are currently in communication, they want this new beginning, but they know they have to they end something to be able to obtain this, and it makes them emotional. Some of them are sitting here, like I say, male or female, they're sitting here looking through their phone, looking at old messages. They're looking at pictures, thinking about their family, thinking about what they're having to give up to obtain this relationship with you. And it weighs heavily on their mind. It's making this person very emotional. They want to create this new beginning. They just don't, they feel guilt for leaving something behind. Could have been a younger fire sign or a child involved, okay? Could have had like a, this could be someone who tantrums a lot um, or somebody who has like um I don't want to say behavioral issues, but they just could be like, they don't adjust well to change. Okay, they like to have things their way. Uh, they it looks like they could give the parents a hard time. But for those of you who have kids, they are trying to figure out how to work through this, to think about the future. They feel conflicted about leaving something in the past and starting in the beginning. It breaks their heart to do it, but they feel this passion for you. Could be a younger fire sign involved, Aries of Sagittarius. All right, we have the Ace of Swords. They're, okay, immediately coming out, the, the Four of Pentacles. Immediately coming out, the Emperor. And the Six of Swords turning over. This one's also wanted to come with us. Let's try to hijack the reading here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. This is about thinking about stability of the future. Um, they're te this person wants to come towards you to tell you something. How they feel. Okay, they feel conflicted. They've been holding back because they feel a sense of responsibility or obligation to their situation. They don't know if they can make this change. 
They don't know if they can be who you need them to be, if they're strong enough to leave something in the past. That's their fear. We have the Ace of Swords. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person wanted to be really honest with you. Cut through the confusion. Shine a light on the situation. Communicate something to you. They want to tell you that whatever they're leaving in the past, okay, it's hard for them to leave it behind and walk away from it. The Four of Pentacles. They're trying to hold on to this, okay, but they have a sense of obligation, Aries energy to whatever it is they're in. It gives them a tremendous amount of anxiety. They're overwhelmed, okay? They're overcome with grief, some of them. They're restless. They're up at night. They can't sleep. They're overthinking the situation. They know they need to move away from this, but they don't know how. This person could have a big uh, ego pride, okay? Under the stick, this person feels emotional. Now, I want to say this. For those of you who are dealing with somebody who's married to someone else, they have commitment and stability with this person. They, they do love this person. Now, they may not be in love with this person, but they do deeply love this person. They've built a life with them, okay? Some of them, they're, they're stuck to something because they know they're, I want to say, addicted to working. We have the Six of Rods. That is fire energy here. So this person, like I say, could have a bit of an ego. Okay, they have may have had a hard time in the past and maybe when they were wrong, okay, it's kind of like they may have pushed you away or either they, if you're in communication with this person, they're lying to their karmic partner or whatever this is, whatever this is separate in two of you, uh, lying to themselves perhaps. If you guys are not in communication, they, they, they want to come back towards you, but they were prideful in the past. They have regrets about that. They lied to you, kind of pushed you away. Now they're telling you the truth. They want you to accept. They need to make, listen, they need to make sure, Aquarius energy here, that when they make an offer to you, you're going to accept it. This person's not about to reach out and ask for your forgiveness. If you're not in communication, they are not about to reach out until they know that you're going to accept them back. So they know that you are, are going to accept their offer. They're not going to make any kind of offer to you, okay? But they know they're going to get their wish. You're going to accept them back. They have to know for certain. Because the last thing that this person do with this kind of prideful energy is going to do is they're going to come towards you, make you an offer when they think you're, they're going to be rejected. Okay? They feel this deep connection to you, though. This is about making a choice in love or a choice for love. Okay? They want to be victorious with you. They want you to accept this with them. They want to make you an offer. They want you to take a leave of faith with them. Um, they may, let's say, try, try, they're trying to come out of that stubborn energy with the fool here, taking a leap of faith. Uh, they could be telling you they want a higher level of commitment. They've learned some kind of lesson here. They're choosing love. They see you in their future. Um, Nine of Cups in the reverse. They may feel unsatisfied without you. They don't have what they need unless they have. They're telling us what they're telling you. They want this with you. Um, Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. You know, honesty. They're telling you they're going to be honest moving forward. They're going to be truthful with you. They're going to not keep you in the dark about something. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're the lovers here, so they are feeling this is divinely guided. They feel this incredibly deep soul connection with you. They want long term. They see if you they see themselves growing old with you. Okay, this person. They've needed to tell you this for some time. They're telling you they're refusing someone else. They have they have opportunities with someone else, or you maybe you did, but you're their wish fulfillment. Virgo energy here, the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn energy here. A lot of secrets, a lot of things you may have been in the dark about. Now they're wanting to tell you the truth. Okay, they see you, you know, as the one. They feel bound to you. They've been hiding their emotions. They may have kind of ghosted you or just kind of kept you emotionally in the dark, maybe kept you at a distance here. They're seeing you as the Nine of Pentacles. So independent, single, confident, ambition. You've got goals, dreams, plans for your future. You're looking good. This person's taking notice. There could be an age difference here. This person's very... Um, they've come to this decision now. They're sure of what they want. They're coming in here, but they're telling you they're having to break someone's heart or that you need to do this because they want you. Um, look, they're charging in here for this, though. It's like they're, they're moving past whatever heartache and pain they kind of left in the past. Blocking something out, Aquarius energy, wanting this wish, wanting to communicate, they want reconciliation, they want expressive emotions, they missed an opportunity in the past, they don't want to do that again. This person, they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of rejection. We have the five of wands here. This person, they're very emotionally conflicted about how to come towards you. They want this, they don't want you to refuse them. 
Like this person, and again, pride is not always a horrible thing, but there comes a point where you have to be humble to something. When it comes to love, you have to come to someone, bear your heart and soul and say, listen, you know, I'm in love with you. I want this with you. That shows a tremendous amount of character, strength, bravery. That shows courage, okay? But for someone to hold back and keep their feelings very guarded, to be afraid to express their feelings, you know, to be vulnerable with you, that shows weakness. That shows that someone um, who's very insecure, okay? In the past, this person was very insecure. They're trying to, they are trying to come out of that energy, but they need to be sure 100% that you want this too. Now, if you're in communication with this person, maybe dropping some kind of hints or something with them, letting them know you'd be open to this or that, you know, you've thought about a future. Decision yours to make. Clearly decide what you want so it comes. It's, just, it's your decision to make. Someone could have been codependent in a toxic relationship or to some kind of toxic behavior or energy. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. This is, you know, about spending time together, communicating some of this, deciding what you want so the two of you can manifest this. Letting this person, this, if you're waiting for this person to make a move towards you, that's just not going to happen. Like they, they're coming in slow. They're gauging you. They're telling you that they're sorry, but they're not, like, offering you the world. They're not... They need to, before this person says anything about how they feel or what they want, they need to be sure. They're coming in. This is what they want. This is their intentions. They're being truthful with you. They're telling you they want, they want a beginning, but they're waiting for you to drop the hints. They're waiting for you to give them confirmation because they do not want to misread you and, and get left out in the cold. That's their fear. Sagittarian energy, they want balance here. There could be an apology that's definitely due here. They're watching you. They could have been kind of childish in the past. They have Virgo energy under the deck. They see that maybe you're in your head about this. They don't know if you're going to accept it. That you could be holding back or guarding your heart. You need to be sure of them as well. It's like there's, a, there's the thing about this is like miscommunications. There needs to be like just this sit down conversation between the two of you. Where you guys are like actually talking out your feelings. What you want for the future. They could feel like you're hard to read. It's like I feel like you're not intentionally doing this. But you know you're guarded with your heart and your emotions. And because of that they don't know what you truly want. There needs to be this talk, this expression of feelings, this, you know, uncovering the truth of a matter, getting to the bottom of the situation, talking about, you know, what you want for the future. So just to kind of clarify what we went over here, this person, what they're thinking about this, they're thinking about you in a very sentimental way, but they know in order to manifest this new beginning with you, they have to release something. Now, it could be anything. It could be a toxic karmic partnership, could be addiction, could be pride, could be what distance, whatever a job they have to end something it's hard for them to do this but they're thinking about this this is what's heavily on their mind they know in order to have you to have this relationship something has to give it could just be a very over inflatuated ego okay in their heart they want to be honest with you they want to tell you that they want this but they had felt some kind of obligation to something in the past given friends family maybe they're constantly looking out for people you know maybe they're respected in work or they have some kind of business uh, or they're Maybe they have kids or a family or something. It's something they have to kind of prioritize. And that's what's making them in their head. They're restless over this. There's feelings here, a deep connection, but they don't know how to make it happen. They, they're, they're, they're feeling very unbalanced in regards to this. Try to protect themselves. Hold on to their stability. Their intention here is to move towards you and be very honest about what they truly want. But they're very prideful. And it's not a justification for negative behaviors. But you want to know... So this is what you need to understand. If you're waiting for this person to offer you the world, if you're waiting for this person to offer you a beginning, they want to do this, but they're waiting, tiptoeing in here, waiting for you to drop this news or this information or this hint to them to let them know that you'd be open to this because they're not about to come back and reconcile or I'm here and stick their neck on the line. So like for some of them, it like really, truly terrifies them to come towards you and if, if you're not in communication for them to come and apologize and say baby i'm so sorry i can't believe i let you go in the past they need they're afraid that you're going to reject their apology if you're in communication if they want to make an offer to you they're afraid you're not going to accept it maybe you have better offer somewhere else or you know you know that you deserve better right that's their fear the actions they're going to take to you, they do want long term. They're feeling very conflicted about how to do this, though. They're waiting for you to make this offer or you to initiate this or push them forward. They're going to want to give to this, but they're going to have to make sure that you want it to. Okay? 
Let's go ahead and pull advice messages. I want to do advice messages for those of you who are currently in communication with your love interest. All right, Spirit, what is the advice message here for Virgos who are in communication with their love interest? What is the advice message here, please, Spirit? Okay. We have surrendered to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that guide you that come through to guide you. So you're being guided. You're seeing signs, synchronicities, things around you that are trying to push you in the right direction. You intuitively know what you need to do. If you need to, you know, post a meme on Facebook that, you know, your signs are compatible or you need to tell this person what you need to say, pair your heart and soul to them. You know, if you need to take a step back away for this person to build the confidence, you already know what you need to do. You know, but you're just, you're looking for that confirmation. So here it is. You're being made aware. If this person says something, for some of you, I'm getting this. If this person says something and you're feeling like, okay, oh, they said that. How should I respond? What should I say? What should I do? If this person's telling you something and you overthink the situation and you end up not saying what you should have said that may have steered the conversation in the right direction because you were afraid of you know getting rejected or being vulnerable, trust your instincts. Live in the moment. Don't let opportunities pass you by. Just speak what your needs. And here's the thing. If you speak your needs to this person and they reject them, they push you away, they ghost you, that's not somebody you want to build a life with anyway. Okay? That's for those of you who are in communication. All right. What is the advice message, please, for Virgos who are in separation from their love interest? What is the advice message, please, for Virgos in separation? Surrender unhealthy relationships and surrender to what is. Okay. So this says, let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. If this person's pushing you away, if they're ghosting you, if they're blocking you, it's not a healthy relationship and it's just draining your energy to hold on to this and it's time to release it. Let it go. Surrender it. Okay. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. This person's not in communication. This person's not available. They don't want a relationship right now. They're pushing me away. There's nothing you can do about that. On your, on your end, there's nothing you can do to fix that situation. You know, that doesn't mean that it never may come to be. But focus on what is right now. Not what could be, what, what, what would be, what should be. Focus on what is. What you can change. You can focus on your family, your health, your job, you know, your kids. You can focus on, you know, school. You can focus on things that make you happy, things that you want to do in life. Focus on things you can change, positive relationships, positive love, you know. And most importantly, giving that to yourself because no amount of holding on to this, letting it eat away at you and, you know, deplenish your energy is going to manifest it back in. Focusing on you and if and when the time is right, things will come to be. Okay, but right now, focus on the here and now things that you can do. Because right now, it's draining your energy for those of you who are currently in separation. All right, Virgo, this was your reading. Please remember to like and comment down below. I hope that you enjoyed this. Wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.